you really can't get away from it. Every day when you turn on the news, when you talk with your friends, when you get on social media, it feels like everyone is pressing you to think what they think. But it's time to settle down and ask what you think. We want to help. Oh my. I'm back again, attempting to answer another question that no one seems to be asking anymore. And yet it pains me. For I know that in this day, the answers to these questions may be among the most important that we'll ever find. Please give me just a moment and let's talk about the question of what is a claim? What is an argument? What is a premise? What is a conclusion? And why do these words even matter, or do the words matter, or merely the ideas? Let's explore this together. Now I must warn you, this series will not be, as so many things on YouTube, on social media, it will not be the bing, bang, boom, fizzle sort of information. So let me urge you, perhaps to sit down quietly with a cup of tea, or, if you choose, a glass of wine. Take the time to think through these questions with us. And with that we begin. What is a claim? A claim is a statement that is either true or false. It may be actually so or actually not so, and it is a claim. It might be about a matter of fact, or it might be an assertion about a matter of opinion. A claim is what we might call the basic building block of reasoning, much like the atom in physics. When we combine claims so as to provide reasons given by some claims for accepting further claims as being true, we are making an argument. We are taking the basic building blocks of reason and we are combining them to create, remember this word, an argument. Now we are well aware that our friends often use the term argument to refer to an angry dispute. This is not how we will be using the term. We'll be using it in the more technical sense of claims giving reason to accept further claims. In fact, most arguments, the best arguments, take place in the solitude of your own quiet mind as you think about what it is that you will believe and what it is that you will disbelieve, or those things about which you cannot be certain because you have evaluated the claims that either support or do not support your conclusions. When claims are combined to form an argument, they take upon them different roles and they wear different names. A claim that serves as a reason for believing that a further claim is true is called a premise. That claim which is supposed to be true on the basis of other claims is called a conclusion. Now, in informal arguments, you might find the premise or the premises either before or after the conclusion in order. It's not about where they appear, but about their function within the argument. For example, if I were to say to my love interest, Chris, you ought to go back to bed. You sound like you have a bad cold, or perhaps the flu. I would have made a simple argument. In this case, the conclusion was delivered first. You ought to go back to bed. The premise came second. You sound like you have a bad cold, or perhaps the flu. Now, by thinking about this simple argument, you might be able to detect some unspoken premise, a premise that is perhaps implied, 
that would make the argument even stronger, especially for someone who might doubt my conclusion. Perhaps you could add, sick people get better faster when they rest in bed, or you would be more comfortable in bed. And so we discover that arguments are all around us, every day. We urge you to begin to notice them and to begin to break them down into their basic elements. We will have much more to say about these basic building blocks of reasoning, just as in physics one cannot build a nuclear reactor by a knowledge of atoms. Step by step, you become stronger in your use of these basic principles. Stay with us as we talk about how to evaluate claims, as we discover whether or not some claims, which we call premises, are true whether or not they really do give us justification for declaring that other claims, conclusions, are certainly true. Do come with us on this adventure. We hope you will begin more and more to take full responsibility for what you think.